Welcome to this Avalon Starlight Transmission Gateway to Ancient Lemuria, Atlantis And this transmission uses the energies found in Glastonbury, Avalon to generate a starlight doorway that leads to Ancient Lemuria or Ancient Atlantis at a time when it was at its golden peak of spiritual connection and practice. So, relax, open, breathe. And with your breath, connect to your body of bone and blood. And with your breath, imagine this body can open to light. Open to light. In breath, imagine breathing in a platinum white light from the universe around. On the out breath, releasing any lower 3D energies you've taken on from other people, places, or groups around you. Imagine that your cells can drink in this platinum white light. On the in breath. On the out breath, can release anything back to the universe, sending energy back to the sun, back to the stars, releasing it back to the universe. With this energy, can be used for other purposes, but other people's energy in your body has no point, no use, no value. Breathing into your body of bone and blood and opening. Connecting to the body, feeling the bones, the blood. Imagine bathing the body in light. And I call a grid of angelic force around you, beginning in the east, beginning always in the east, place of the rising sun. I call to Archangel Raphael, Archangel of Healers. Magician, Archangel. You may see this figure as a golden robed angel surrounded in emerald green light. Emerald green light. Just imagine for a moment allowing that energetic force to hold the eastern gateway to your energy field. And imagine if you can breathing in this kind of golden emerald green light from Archangel Raphael. If there's anything you want to surrender for healing, just give it to the angel. And breathe in this golden emerald green force into the body. You might find it as an invigorating, cleansing force. Archangel Raphael, healer magician. Surrender anything to this angel that you want to release. And I call to the south, the southern gateway of your energy field, Archangel Michael, Archangel of Fire, Protector, Guardian Angel, Cleanser Angel. You might see a red, red robed figure stepping towards you, holding a sword of electric blue and surrounded by this electric blue force field. Spend a moment now connecting with this angel. If you wish to surrender anything to fire, imagine releasing it to fire. On the in-breath, breathing in this ruby red electric blue force welcoming the angel into your body, your energy fields. And as you do this, I call to the angel of the west, Gabriel, archangel of water. Let's see a figure approaching the western gateway of your energy fields. This figure is robed in blue-green, 
and surrounded by a diamond white fire. And just breathe in this energy if you wish and surrender anything you wish to water to Gabriel. This diamond white fire is the ascension fire. You can welcome that force in your body to help your cells wake up, your energy field wake up. And as you do this, I invite the angel of the north, Uriel, to come to the northern gateway of your energy fields. Uriel robed in a kind of dark olive green and surrounded by a ruby red fire, ruby red fire. Sometimes this ruby red fire is a golden ruby red. And imagine breathing in this force and surrendering anything you wish to the angel of earth. And feeling a grid work, a sphere, a spherical grid work form around you as these four angels of air, of fire, of water, of earth create this grid work around you of fire, this kind of fiery white grid. Fill yourself in this force field and this force field can be intensified if you wish. You can just request it to be, the energy to be turned up if you want to increase your vibration. And of course this will throw out anything lower in your energy field or bring up anything in the unconscious minds, any old programs to be healed. I call above space Metatron, Metatron, Metatron of the central sun. And Metatron brings down this, this grid work from the central sun this grid of golden white fire from the central sun down through all your energy fields cleansing like a shower of golden light releasing anything in your energy field that shouldn't be there dissolving, clearing, cleansing a shower as this grid descends through the body like a shower of golden light and all the way down through your body into the earth. The Metatron increasing the transmission from the golden sun, central sun, as another layer of the central sun grid work is brought down slowly, down to top of head, and sweeping down slowly through the head. The fine grid work of this golden white light down through the neck, throat, shoulders, upper chest, arms, midsection, belly, down through the sacral base, down through the legs, and down into the earth, intensify the light from the central sun. And as this is happening, I call to Sandalphon of the earth below to bring up the crystal grid from the core of the earth. Bring up the crystal grid from the core of the earth. And this silver white fire begins to sweep upwards, up to the heart, up over the head, filling this angelic sphere of force around you with this crystal fire, silver white fire. I call your higher self to be with you. And with this force around you, we're going to add some other energies. Energies from magical Glastonbury, Avalon, ancient land with a very deep history, spiritual history. That stretches back through the recent Christian era to the more pagan past, through the Druids to Atlantis, and from Atlantis to Lemuria. Glastonbury has a connection to Atlantis and through that to Lemuria and many of the souls who were drawn to visit Glastonbury and such sites have experienced 
many lifetimes in golden Atlantis and Lemuria at the height of its power. And the first energy I call from Glastonbury is uh, from a place in Glastonbury called Wirial Hill. Wirial Hill. On one side of the town is a hill that in ancient times Joseph of Arimathea landed by boat as he reached Glastonbury after a long journey from the Holy Land after a period of travel stepping on this shore standing on solid ground Wirial Hill the entry point for this transmission so I'm just going to ask the energies of that place to be transmitted to you through this angelic grid the energies of blessing and of stability of new beginnings of entering into a magical land this was really the point of the beginning of the Christian uh, tradition in this country at this point this landing point this was just after the crucifixion bringing with him it said the holy grail the blood of Christ which may refer actually to his partner Mary Magdalene more than a physical object who was uh, pregnant with his child it is said but the energies of Wirial Hill new beginnings a great green mound rising up from the landscape in ancient times this would have been like a green island in a sea of water around so I just have this transmission of Wirial Hill Wirial Hill, the original place of the holy thorn trees said to be planted by Joseph as he's put his rod of thorn into the ground it took root and sprang up and blossomed and the thorn tree continues to blossom in Glastonbury around Christmas time opening to this transmission of Wirial Hill now. And breathing it in and opening, allowing the angelic force to adjust your field. Adjusting your field now, allowing this transmission from Wirial Hill, this place of new beginnings, of standing on solid ground, the place of blessing. And allow that transmission to be grounded through you into the crystal grid of the earth so it actually passes through you safely into the earth and the next transmission from the abbey right in the center of the town the ruined abbey now but once a place of great spiritual practice and dedication a place of organized spiritual religious structure community place of great power in the whole of the Christian tradition this abbey, one of the biggest in Europe at the time a centre of communal activity a place where spirit and matter joined religious practice combined with all kinds of uh, material, practical matters farming land cooking buildings receive this transmission from Glastonbury Abbey as it once was a place of great spiritual power and you do not have to be in the Christian tradition to benefit from this transmission
the angelic force around you just adjusting your fields to allow this transmission dedicated spiritual practice that was really the norm in times gone by less so now the third place third magical energy from Glastonbury the Tor this great druid labyrinth this great green hill that rises up in the landscape with its single tower ruined tower on the top place where ley lines cross of magical power, a place of transformation and a vision, a place of the ancient druids' ceremonial magic. Receiving a transmission now from the Tor. Allowing the angelic forces to adjust your field. And some of you may have had druid lifetimes. This energy may reconnect you to some of those energies, times of a great magical tradition, oral tradition. These were the kind of dream weavers, seers, visionaries, magicians of ancient Britain when Britain was actually a great centre of spiritual learning at these times and a druid training could last many years many many years and finally the fourth transmission from Glastonbury, Chaliswell Garden place of stillness, reflection, purification, a still magic. And for those of you who have been there, you approach the garden through, um, through the two guardians at the beginning of the garden, two ancient yew trees. And we're going to stand between these yew trees and receive a transmission from these ancient yew trees, very old, and trees hold their own power and magic. New trees very cleansing, purifying, clearing. Just being bathed in this purification energy. Now the guardians of these trees to welcome you into the garden. And we walk past the yew trees through a gate into another area of the garden, to the area where the red spring, chalice well spring, flows, red iron water flowing through the ground. We can walk past this stream. There's a little waterfall there. Red, the brickwork and the rocks have turned red as this red water flows over it. And then garden leads up some steps to another garden where many flowers and grass and sun is shining and here we sit At the far end of the garden is the well itself but we sit in the garden now with the grass and the flowers and the sun and just feeling the energy of this garden its nature spirits its elementals surrounding us as elemental energies curious may come closer to have a look at us and as we sit in meditation in this garden bathing in the stillness bathing in the energy of reflection reflecting on the life we've lived so far of the time we're in just taking time and I'm asking the angelic force just to adjust your field to this chalice world transmission just reflect on some of the issues going on in your life now. Some challenges, perhaps some dreams you're facing. And how useful it would be to have certain resources that you once had in another lifetime. Resources, perhaps magical resources, perhaps healing resources. Uh, the ability to travel through the inner planes 
perhaps the ability to step through different dimensions. Perhaps once you worked in an ancient temple, in Lemuria or Atlantis, worked with white magic to, to manifest certain realities. Perhaps you were a dreamer in Lemuria, working on dreaming the reality of a whole community into being with your visions, envisioning more light for a whole community, envisioning more joy, more openness, more connection, and that your dreams could sustain a whole community. And as you sit in the garden, day turns to night, day turns to night, and stars begin to shine in the sky. Count the stars sparkling like diamonds. And as you sit and wait, a doorway begins to appear in front of you, a doorway of starlight, of starlight. And this doorway leads to a lifetime in ancient Lemuria or Atlantis during the height of its spiritual power, golden age of Atlantis and Lemuria. And this door forms. And at the same time, other doors may also form. These doors lead to lifetimes that perhaps were not so uplifting. Maybe there were difficulties in these lifetimes, challenges, traumas, karma generated. And these doorways will not appear as starlight, perhaps darker shades, darker shades. And I call upon angelic forces around you just for now to seal these doors these other doorways these other lifetimes in Lemuria or Atlantis where there's clearing needed with a diamond white fire to clear and disappear them so infusing these doorways with diamond white fire and for now disappearing them for such doors should only be explored with, with assistance not alone and allow all other doors to disappear and only the one door the door that your higher self wants you to explore a lifetime in golden Atlantis or golden Lemuria and as this door solidifies in front of you your higher self begins to appear or a guide on this side of the door and state your intention of exploring this lifetime and connecting with talents, qualities, experiences, skills that you once had that you want to bring back into this lifetime. Make sure you're very clear with your intention of reconnecting with the highest possible lifetime, with the highest possible degree of skill, of spiritual connection or experience or healing that you want to bring back into this lifetime. And once you converse with a guide or your higher self and that guide nods the agreement that you may step through, only then you get a sense of yes, step towards the door of starlight. And with your guide or higher self, step through the door, step through the door, as if walking through glass that shimmers and that you could walk through as if the glass were actually water, you could pass through the door. And on the other side, a whole new landscape a whole new landscape. Allow this landscape to appear before your eyes. Open your inner senses. Trust your first impressions. Notice where are you? What does the sky look like? What does the earth beneath your feet feel like? Smell the smells. Listen to the sounds. Reach out and touch something. Perhaps bark of a tree or blades of grass or stone of wall and ask your guide to take you now to this lifetime to take you now to this lifetime in ancient Atlantis or Lemuria and the guide would lead you through the landscape lead you through pathways lead you perhaps to a temple perhaps to a temple see this temple now shimmering in the distance and make your way quickly to this temple perhaps your temple is one of white stone 
Perhaps your temple is one of shimmering crystal. Go to this temple now. Find the main door and with your guide, go into the temple. Go through the temple and find the main hall. Go into the hall. And there in the hall, somewhere in the hall, an altar, a place, an altar. If you go and find that altar now. And upon this altar, perhaps the altar is bare, perhaps the altar has many gifts, many objects on the altar. And I'm going to ask the angelic forces around you to manifest the light around you in this temple. So they're holding you in this temple, in this space, six archangels, Raphael in the east, Michael in the south, Gabriel in the west, Uriel in the north, Metatron above you, Sandalphon below. And I ask your guide now to your higher self to present to you gifts that you've developed in a particular lifetime in Atlantis or Lemuria and allow these gifts to manifest as objects or symbols on the altar objects or symbols on the altar just take a moment allowing these objects to manifest before your eyes they may appear as anything a piece of jewellery a sacred object perhaps a five pointed star perhaps a crystal Perhaps just a shape, geometric shape. Perhaps just an energy field. Perhaps a piece of clothing or a crown. Or a ring. As these objects appear, trust your first impressions. And with your guide's permission, reach out and touch one of these objects. Pick it up. Hold it in your hands. Tune into the energy, the power of this object. See if you get a sense of its power, its gift to you. What gift is coming back to you now? What gift is coming back to you now? Trust your first impressions. If you don't know, just feel the energy of it. And when you're ready, Bring this gift as energy into your body and allow the energy to dissolve in the body. You could bring it into the heart and dissolve it there. You could bring it into the third eye and dissolve it there. Perhaps into the base, dissolve it there. Wherever you're drawn intuitively, bring this energy back. Breathe in this energy, allow it to swirl around the body and integrate, even if your mind has no idea what it's about. And then, look back to the altar and find another object, another symbol. With your guide's permission, pick it up in your hands. Tune into its energy, its power. Feel it. Allow it to speak to you. ready once again intuitively bring it back into your body allow it to dissolve in your energy field dissolve allow the energy of this gift to be brought back into your body your energy fields and find a third and final gift on the altar With a nod from the guide, pick that up and once again hold it in your hands. Tune in to the gift. What is this gift of energy? What skill, set of experiences, knowledge is this? your body intuitively wherever it needs to go and allow the energy to be absorbed in your body 
and swirl around and breathe it in and around the body. I ask your higher self and guide to seal this energy in your energy field. And allow that sealing to take place now and activating that gift in your lifetime now so that it can become more uh, present and available to you in your everyday life in this dimension, in this time, in this earth plane. And feel your body filled with these energies, these gifts. And then just ask your higher self or guide, is there anything you want to tell me about this lifetime? And just wait and listen. See if there's any response. Perhaps your higher self will reach out and touch you in the third eye and reveal a set of images. A set of images. Just open as if viewing a film to the sight sounds, feeling sensations of this lifetime. One that you're being asked to remember now. Just trust your first impressions, follow anything that comes. And then when you're ready, step away from the altar. With the angelic force around you, leave the room with your higher self or guide. Come back out of the temple. Back the way you came, back the way you came. Back to the starlight door, back to the starlight door.
thanking your guide and higher self, you can step back through the door. Step back through the door that dissolves behind you as you step back into the garden. And it's either day or night time here. Just check how does the garden look. Look at the flowers, see if you can notice their colour, if it's daytime. If it's night, allow the starlight just to illuminate the garden. leaving the garden, coming back the way you came, back down the steps, past the red stream, through the gateway to the two guardian yew trees. And giving a moment of thanks, silent gratitude to the yew trees stepping through them, back out, and just feeling the power grid of Glastonbury, the energy of the garden. The tour above the garden. The abbey in the centre of town. Wirral Hill on the far side of the garden and tour. And just allow the energies of Glastonbury to release from you, let it go. With your breath, feeling your body. Releasing the angelic force around you. Thanking the angels, Metatron above. Xenophon below. Uriel in the north. Gabriel in the West. Michael in the South. Raphael in the East. Allowing this angelic force to release and with them also the transmission from the central sun begins to lessen decrease in intensity and with that also the crystal grid from the earth lessening but not completely still feeling a connection to both the crystal grid and the central sun thanking your higher self breathing light into your body of bone and blood and coming back and now ask your higher self to align all your energy fields and bring back all your light here in this time frame If there's any clearing that needs to be done, just clear all minds, all bodies, all timelines. Ask the higher self now to 
help you open to these gifts in this lifetime, integrate, activate. Coming back to your body, bone and blood and breathing. With blessings, with blessings as always, coming back 